Nestled in Patterson Inlet, Alva Island celebrates 10 years of being predator free and the bird life speaks or sings for itself. Alva Island is a rare chance to experience New Zealand as it might have been 200 years ago, with a myriad of native birds bustling around you and only a 10 minute boat ride from Stewart Island. We started the trust originally to raise money for the tracks and infrastructure, but we enjoyed it so much we carried on and got involved in bird releases. And um, Kākāpō was a project and it's been really interesting. It's a nice thought to be able to come and release a bird into a, an area where it hasn't been for a hundred years and it's come back home. What's been your favourite one to bring back to the island? I think the Saddleback. Why is that? It just seems to be part of it more, it's just somehow it seems, to me it feels like it's home. Patterson's in it, the majority of it is either a um, marine reserve or a matai And the good thing about the matai is that it leaves the locals as the controlling agent so that we can decide whether the fishing pressure needs to be taken off of certain species or like at the moment there's a ban on scallops. Got to keep the fish for our next generation. What kind of a draw card is Alva Island for visitors nowadays? Oh, it's one of the icons of New Zealand and I mean certainly is for Stewart Island. A lot of visitors come particularly uh, to Stewart Island just because of Alva Island, because of the birds and they're so friendly, you know, there's no predators so they've got nothing to fear. It's just very, very special, very special. This place is amazing. People come here and they reset their standard for New Zealand. They, you get used to what's in your backyard and you come over here and you go, ah, this is what it's supposed to be like. So this is the most pristine place you can come to in New Zealand. What's your job out here on Elva Island? Uh, I run uh, Elva's Guided Walks, yeah. and uh, which is pretty easy because it's Alva Island and it's Alva's Guided Walks and that just happens to be my name. Right. And we've got some more robins coming up to, to say hello. And you can hear the birds in the background. There's a big kaka up the back and uh, the, the bird life here is prolific. See? Is Lady Slipper Orchid. And so why is it called Lady Slipper? Because of the bud. It's like the side profile of a lady's high heel shoe. Of course it is. <laughs> it's very delicate. It's very delicate. Fill me things. If you put your hand under, yeah. they're see-through. Wow! They're one cell thick. See the dots at the end? That's the spore. Oh, so he's having babies now. Yeah. <laughs> that is incredible, isn't it? Isn't one it cell amazing? thick. Brilliant. Alva Island is a must-visit opportunity when you make the trip to Stewart Island. And with wildlife like this at your doorstep, it's a great way to experience for yourself how it is possible to turn back the clock and bring our bird song back to the bush.